This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. The following values represent the grades a student received on daily quizzes given during the week. Ooh, 85, 97, 82, 79, rough, 95. All right. In quiz grades. Ooh, we have a file. Yep. Here's our class. Okay, cool. Write the method get grades to return the value in grades at the parameter index. Erk. I'm going to pause right there. That's a lot of complicated lingo. So what is a method? As we know, get grades, right? Get grades is something that can be run that allows us to perform some functionality here. We can instantiate the class, right? We can make an object and run get grades. Apparently, though, right now, there's nothing. Return the value in the grades at the specific order. Okay, let me go back here to do. Declare and initialize the 1D array. 1D means one-dimensional, right? So I'm going to actually start with that, even though that's step three, because I hate the idea of not testing something while trying to code it. That is nuts. Don't do that to yourself. So I'm going to do int and then... Uh, square brackets, and then I'll just call mine grades, I guess, and it's going to be equal to, now I need curly brackets, right, for the uh, actual content of this, because I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this, copy, go back over here, and do a paste. Bam. All right, so now I have grades ready to go. I also, though, want to go ahead and instantiate the class, uh, and make an object for testing. So quiz grades, and I'll stick with our naming convention, which is to do my quiz grades, although they're not mine, although they could be mine. Eh, not really. Well, maybe. Anyways, and then quiz grades. <laughs> All right, bam. So let's go look at the constructor because I need to see if we pass something. And we do, right? So the constructor here, we're going to give it our grades array because we have a private variable up here. And we're going to give it these values. So inside of our object, it will have its own copy of those that we can do with as needed. So I might say here, just to differentiate, because I want to show you this as a variable getting passed. Um, I might say input uh, grades, right? Names don't technically really matter, but I just want to show you this is different than what this is going to be because this is passing that input grades and it says this dot grades which is referencing hey use the variable already created up here give it the values that were just provided all right that all being said now that we can actually test our work let's head down here all right so it wants us to go ahead and return the value in grades at the specific index okay return a value in grades at the specific index well, honestly, guys, I am going to start then with, well, what is our item? I know it's this dot grades, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do this dot. Now, keep in mind with this. Now, keep in mind with this, guys, we actually don't technically need to use this. This is used to limit the confusion up here or to let the computer know we don't mean this variable grades. We need the one already created up here. This is the head, uh, this, that grades is the local grades. This dot grades means that thing. All right. So I don't technically need to use it here because there's not actually another option for what grades could be. I'm just going to start by returning grades zero just to check this out, right? Let's, let's give it a shot. And I'm going to go over here because again, I want to test right away. Get grade zero. Actually, I want to show you that that's not being passed yet. So I'll do five and oh. Here it is right here. Okay, I'm going to move this down. And then we can print the result. Um, something like that. System out print my grade. Let's see. And so that's great. 85 is the first grade, right? However, they want us to use the index. And so we need to use this value. Actually, I'm not going to need this because we can do this directly. And all I have to do here is do index. And so now whatever number is provided, that should be the one I get. Now, keep in mind, guys, indexes start at zero. So this is index zero. This is index one, two, three, four. And just to mess it up more, this is a length of five. This array has five items, right? However, if you're talking indexes, it's zero, one, two, three, 
four. All right, I want you to keep that in mind. So now, even though there's five items, if say I want to get the last thing, let's go ahead and do four, or as it asks for the first, quip out. Cool, so it looks like we got that covered. Write method set grade to change the value of a grade at parameter index. Let's take a look. Set grade, change the value of a grade. Okay, well, we already now know we have access to grades, all right? And now we do need to specify, right? I can't just do grades equals new value. And the reason for this is grades is a array. It's a collection of items. It's all of these grades. The computer's going to say, what? You can't do this. It'd be like trying to make a number uh, be a true false or be a bullet. Well, you could. Anyways, it doesn't work. It's going to be very grumpy. So we have to tell it which one. It's going to be like, wait a minute. I can give this a different value, but which one of these? And so I could do zero if I wanted it to always change the first number. We could kill that 85 and change it to something else. But what they're asking is allow the user to pick, which, you know, choice is nice. So I'm going to throw index in here. Now, this is a void method, so we aren't going to need to return anything. And ta -da, that should allow the adjustment of whatever grades. Now, which grades is this? This is the grades up here. It's the grades contained within this method or within this class within our object. We originally assigned it, the, assigned it these values, but we can change it here and it will only change this one. Okay? It's not going to actually change input grades. This is separate. We're just copying these over to our class. Okay. Uh, why don't we test that now? Call set grade. Okay. Set grade three and it's allowing us to pass two values, right? Which I'm not sure we've actually really done much. But we can pass with a comma. So now I can give it both an index and a new value. So first is the index. I'm going to ask for three. And then they want me to change the value to 91. Okay. And then print the updated value for three. All right. I'm going to be a bit lazy, but well, no. Well, yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm going to grab this, guys. Control C. Control V. I'm actually going to be a bit fancier this time, though. Instead of just having it assigned an integer, which is nice, it makes sense, it can also just do this. I can do it directly within my print. It's kind of cool. And then do three. Okay. Let's see. Quapa! Notice there's no 91 up here, but we set it. Boom, boom. The student retook the quiz on Thursday, received a higher grade. Hey! We did it. That's cool. I, we're going to get to build better, bigger, more complicated stuff. I'm excited. Onward.